Patch 14.8 for Hell Let Loose has just been released and I believe it's a really important patch for Hell Let Loose. Now why is that? Well, first off we've got the part two of the British Forces rework. That's something we've been waiting for quite a while on and I don't believe it's really going to have a big impact on the game. But what part two of the British rework brings along is some new weapons and vehicles. So for the British, they're getting a new Sten gun, the Mark V. I believe only the squad leaders get access to that. A new sniper rifle. It's just replacing the original sniper rifle we got with a sniper variant of the number four Mark I rifle. The Thompson 1928A1, both with a stick mag and a drum mag. And the number 82 Gammon Bomb. For the vehicles, we're getting the Crusader Mark III as a medium tank and the M3 Stuart Honey as a light tank. So in case you don't know what the Gammon Bomb is, it's a detonate on impact grenade, pretty much. So what that means is when you throw it, as soon as it hits something, whether it's the ground, a wall or someone, it will explode. And you can use this to destroy or disable enemy vehicles. So when using it against Jeeps, it will destroy it in one hit. You can destroy trucks in one hit to the engine, two trucks two hits to the body. For half tracks, two hits will destroy it, two hits to a recon tank will destroy it, three hits to the engine of a light tank will destroy it, and for medium and heavy tanks you cannot destroy them, you can only destroy the tracks, and that's three hits for a medium and four hits for a heavy. So that's pretty cool because you could use the gammon bomb to disable the tracks on a bigger tank, and then maybe one of your satchel guys could come up behind it and whack a satchel on, or it would just be an easier target for your tanks or someone with a peer. They've also updated the two maps that came with the British faction, El Alamein and Dreel. So for El Alamein, when it released, a lot of people didn't like it because of just how open the map was. So what they've done is they've tripled the amount of buildings in the map and increased the amount of rocks by a third. They've also worked on the HQs and capture points to improve the flow of gameplay and the balance, but it's also had a bit of a major rework, and that's mainly around its center control point, the Oasis, which is the one used in the skirmish mode. There's a lot more cover, a lot more buildings, and just a lot more interesting stuff going on in that area of the map. I have played it in the skirmish PTE they had for El Alamein, and I did enjoy it. I will be playing it more and streaming it more, so hopefully I can get another video out with more impressions or detailed impressions of that map once I've put some more time into it. And with Drill, they've put some improvements around a new center control point for the skirmish map for that, which is the underpass, which is a point south of the bridge. They've just made it probably look better and play a bit better. But again, I'll get more impressions out on that later. Now, the main thing in this patch, what I believe is pretty much a game changer for Hell Let Loose, is the release of the skirmish mode and the skirmish mode it's still 50 v 50 but it's fighting on a condensed version of a map fighting over only one control point the map length will also be shorter i think it's about a 30 minute game there's a new type of garrison called the forward position and with skirmish mode they have adjusted some of the gameplay to fit that mode just a bit better there can only be one recon squad per team and only one armor squad per team with only a medium tank and no artillery. And to win skirmish, you pretty much need to hold the control point when the timer runs out. It doesn't matter how long you've controlled it for, it only matters who controls it at the end. Now, why do I think this is a game changing patch for Hell Let Loose because of this mode? It pretty much means that I think more people can get more game out of Hell Let Loose. Now instead of playing one game for 90 minutes, you could play three games of 30 minutes in skirmish mode and it is still gonna be hell let loose. The gameplay experience will be slightly different because there will be less tanks, less snipers and no artillery, but it's still hell let loose. It's not gonna be a faster paced game mode. It's still gonna play the same. You're just fighting over that one control point, which I think pretty much everyone watching this video has had a normal game of Hell Let Loose where you are fighting over one control point for nearly 90 minutes. And it's sort of that, but 30 minutes capped. 
I do think though that on PC this mode might get underused and only used as a seeding mode and what seeding is is when you have a server with zero players on it they'll probably use this skirmish mode as a seeding mode just to get more people in to fight and try to build up the player numbers of the server and then when they have enough people they'll probably switch it to warfare or offensive. A lot of servers at the moment or maybe not anymore because of this patch have server seeding rules where if you break these rules you could get punished by getting kicked out the server and usually these rules are no armor in the center control point or no armor at all only fighting over the center control point no artillery and stuff like that and i think those rules will get replaced by skirmish but i hope there are skirmish only servers or that some servers build in skirmish maps into their map rotation because they're still 50 v 50. What this could also mean in the future for Hell Let Loose is different maps of different sizes. Now, what you may not know is the reason behind every map until now being the exact same size is because there was a lot of hard coded stuff in the back end for Hell Let Loose. And I know Team 17 have been spending a lot of time picking apart a lot of the hard coded stuff so they can do more with Hell Let Loose and Skirmish Mode is one of them. Now they can have smaller maps, potentially they could have bigger maps or just maps of different sizes like a, a long thin map for example or maybe a larger map which could be like a tank only mode. I don't understand why there isn't a tank only mode in Hell at Loose. I'm not a tank player but I know there are people that would want this. There's a tank only mode in Squad 44 and I've played that and enjoyed that so do that in Hell Let Loose and maybe develop some really large open or just cool maps for tank only modes. I think that would be awesome. Let me know what you think about a tank only mode down in the comments below. But basically with Skirmish coming into Hell Let Loose it's gonna probably let more people just play Hell Let Loose more often and when I come back from the office and have my dinner and sort the dogs out I could play maybe one game of Hell Let Loose in the evening on a full, say, offensive or warfare mode. And sometimes, because of what the time is, I just won't play Hell Let Loose at all. I'll play something else. Maybe I'll play Hunt Showdown for a few rounds. But now, with Skirmish mode, I know I can get in two to four rounds. And that'll just be awesome because it'll mean more Hell Let Loose, right? That's all this Skirmish mode is going to bring to more people is let them get more game. Which is a good thing. It's not going to turn Hell Let Loose into Call of Duty. If you're one of these people who think Skirmish Mode is going to turn into Call of Duty, you're mental. But lastly, there is some DLC. We have free DLC, which is damaged helmets for the British. You know, they're okay. I guess I wasn't really a big fan of the other damaged helmets they brought. But one thing which is cool, but not cool as well, is the two new paid uniforms they brought in. The first one is the Red Devils, the British Airborne. I've been waiting for a uniform like this because, I mean, look at it. It looks awesome, but it is a paid DLC. And we also have the Polish being represented, which is awesome. But they again are a paid DLC. And what I think this also may mean is that plans for the Polish faction have been scrapped. We know in the last year's roadmap, the Polish faction were announced. In the 2024 roadmap, there's been no mention of the Polish at all. And with the release of the Polish Parachute Brigade DLC, I think that pretty much means the Polish faction are gone, which is a disappointment. But you know, this could just be a temporary thing of this DLC coming to the British forces. And then later on, maybe if they release an actual Polish faction, they'll move this uniform across to the Polish side. Who knows? I'm gonna try and get some streams out of the skirmish mode for today, that's the 29th of Feb. So if you're watching this video, check back at the channel a little bit later on because I could be streaming it or I may have already streamed it. So check out the, the VOD on the channel. And then I'll hopefully make a video after that with my thoughts and opinions on actually playing skirmish mode in the live Hell Let Loose version. So if you like the video, give it a like, dislike if you didn't, Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.